you're entering a world of pure speculation. Although the Wonder Woman game from Monolith Studios was announced at the end of 2021, we still know very little about it. The most info we've got is from a 40 second teaser. However, the one thing that's been hyped the hell up is that the game is powered by the Nemesis system. While that may not be much, looking at the historic uses of that system and dialogue from that teaser, actually gives us more than enough to speculate about the setting, the story, and the journey Wonder Woman will go on. This is a little different than the videos I usually make, but I loved the Middle Earth series, mostly, and with Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad not being everything I hoped for, I've got a lot riding on Wonder Woman being at least decent. So let's kick off this speculative circle jerk by taking a deeper look at the Nemesis system. For those who never played the Middle Earth series, the Nemesis system is essentially a way to create in-game stories with high-ranking enemies. Your interactions with them lead to personalized dialogue and combat situations. For example, if you tried to kill an orc and failed to do so, they'll reference it the next time you fight them. If they kill you, they'll climb the ranks of the orc army. And if you did some serious damage, like lighting them on fire, they could even be burnt or scarred in some way. Hell, sometimes you'll think you killed an orc, but he'll come back with a serious injury to enact his revenge. Those were always my favorites. The main narrative driver, though, is the ability to convert enemies to your side, assign them missions to weaken the overall army, or be your personal bodyguard. Each region of the map has its own hierarchy to take on, where you'll use the forces you've assembled to lead a siege on the War Chief's fortress to take control of that region. That's a really basic summary, but I think it puts us all on the same page. So, how the hell would this system work for Wonder Woman? I actually think quite well. She's not exactly known for laying siege to forts with an army of creeps at her back, but there are gameplay hints if we listen to that teaser. Here's what, presumably, Queen Hippolyta has to say. My daughter, a new threat comes to our shores, and I must call you home. Restore what has been broken, unite old enemies, forge new bonds. You are a hero, but you can be more. You can be a leader. You are Wonder Woman. The description of the teaser provides a bit more information. Blah blah blah, become Diana of Themyscira in the fight to unite her Amazon family and the humans from the modern world. So, it's clear that forging alliances will be an important part of the game, which fits right into the Nemesis system. Although these are important nuggets of information worth digging into, first, I want to focus on what's not mentioned. Who the hell is Wonder Woman gonna fight? It can't just be a handful of big bads who have teamed up. The Nemesis system requires interacting with a large, organized enemy army. My immediate reaction is to say that she'll be up against Ares. He's the god of war and the main villain from the only good Wonder Woman movie. How many other of her villains do most people know other than Cheetah? And I doubt Diana will be slaying hordes of cheetahs so, Ares is certainly the safe bet, especially for a AAA title to rely on. And while it all makes sense, it feels very flimsy. What reason could he have to launch a full-scale invasion of Themyscira? It's not really his style. Maybe he could be orchestrating things from behind the scenes, but I just can't see him as the face of the enemy army. So, if not Ares, then who could be the Sauron equivalent for Themyscira? While I'm no expert on all things Wonder Woman, I do know a few things. And what makes the most sense to me is this all has to do with Doom's doorway. There's a rift from our world into Hades, more specifically, one that leads to Tartarus, which is essentially a mythical prison for the worst of the worst. The Amazons are tasked with guarding this doorway, on Themyscira. It seems likely to me that the Amazons could have failed in their task, and all manner of horrible creature have escaped from Doom's doorway and are running wild across Themyscira, likely led by some big baddie, which is why Wonder Woman is summoned back home. However, there is one hole in this theory. In Hippolyta's dialogue, she mentions a threat that's come to their shores. Kinda rains on my parade. But to be fair, I feel like that could just be a figure of speech and not her describing a literal invasion by sea. Since this is the modern day DC universe, it seems highly unlikely that some evil army could manage 
to not only organize themselves successfully into a fleet, but also find the secret Paradise Island by sea and make landfall. No, that doesn't make much sense to me. Instead, it makes much more sense if the enemies come from within, catching the Amazons by surprise. This fits into Monolith's previous experience, building out a fantasy world filled with mythological creatures led by a solo protagonist who mixes magic with sword and sandals combat. Plus, if Diana is battling against forces that aren't quite human, Monolith can keep her combat more on the brutal side which is something they definitely like to do. I'm certain there will be some Lasso of Truth action, but I'd be surprised if there isn't a heavy reliance on swords and arrows. Hell, from a gameplay perspective, it could make sense to have the Lasso of Truth be the tool by which Wonder Woman is able to convert enemies to her side. But I find it hard to believe that she isn't going to be slashing up minotaurs and harpies and fucking headless men. Oh yeah. Greek mythology gets so weird, and I love it. So, now that we have some idea of who the enemies might be, what about Wonder Woman's allies? What little information we have on this game suggests that there will be an unsurprisingly strong focus on the Amazons. It seems to me like Wonder Woman will not only need to fight back against an enemy army, but she'll also need to forge a stronger alliance amongst her people, suggesting she may need to reunite different sects that have had a falling out over the centuries. Inter-Amazon conflict isn't a new concept, and these different sects could control different regions of the map, which Wonder Woman needs to help, leading to her amassing new allies of Amazons who pledge their swords to her. This wouldn't be much different from the Middle Earth games, and it makes sense that there would be divided regions of the map since that's the only way we've seen the Nemesis system implemented in the past. Unless there's been some major overhaul, it's a system that demands clear divisions in the world. Now, the old enemies referred to in the teaser could refer to more than just soured relations amongst the Amazons. While I tend to think that the game will only take place on Themyscira, the developers could have the Amazon's home be one of only several islands for the player to visit. It would kind of go against the initial premise of an island hidden from the world, but they could pull some Thor shit and have Themyscira be one island amongst a collection, all filled with their own mythic beings. Much like the Frost Giants, there could be an island of centaurs or satyrs or cyclopses that have an established history with the Amazons, who Diana assists to earn their allegiance. Now, let's keep in mind that all of that was 100% Hold out of my ass. Maybe the only good mythic beings will be the Amazons. However, we know for a fact that they won't be Wonder Woman's only allies. The line in the description about uniting the Amazons and humans from the modern world really stood out to me. How could regular, doofy humans fit into this story? We can assume Diana has been Wonder Woman for some time now has had a relationship with Steve Trevor, and is likely assimilated into the larger international order. It wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for her to at least alert Steve to the threat, which may loop in some modern military forces to aid the Amazons. I'm torn on that though. Ignoring the obvious issue with an interconnected superhero universe, I don't love the idea that the scope of this game will go beyond the mythological. Maybe I'm just a sucker for that kind of stuff, but seeing a camo-clad soldier shooting at ancient beasts with an AR-15 sounds like it should be in a completely different game. Also, man shouldn't be allowed on Themyscira in bulk. Sure, a Steve Trevor or a Superman is cool every now and then, but a military force? Maybe if they were all ladies? No, it just doesn't feel right. If I had to guess, I'd say no modern militaries will actually touch down on Paradise Island. So then, how does Wonder Woman unite the Amazons and modern humans? Maybe this shatters my theory that the bulk of the game will take place on Themyscira. Maybe it's more of a globe-trotting adventure. Honestly, of everything I've speculated about, the modern human element has me the most stumped. If you have any theories, please leave them in the comments. Let's shift gears and irresponsibly speculate on one last part of the story. 
Wonder Woman's journey. Looking back at the Nemesis system will actually help us solidify at least part of Diana's arc. The Nemesis system demands that the player take up the position of leader through conquest and conversion of enemy forces. The teaser and its description both highlight that Wonder Woman will go from a hero to a leader. We've already covered some possible directions for that journey, uniting different sects of Amazons under one banner, forging alliances with other mythical creatures and the human world to fight against a greater evil. And I think that's awesome. Having Wonder Woman waving her sword over her head and giving a speech after a successful conquest is an opportunity that's too good to pass up. But is that really all she'll be doing? Sure. The Middle-Earth games, especially the sequel, had conquest as a big part of the narrative, but there was a lot more going on with the main characters. In the first game, Talion is on a quest for revenge against Sauron's army who slaughtered his family, while Celebrimbor is trying to remember his past, which fleshes out his relationship with the enemy forces. So it stands to reason that Wonder Woman's entire journey won't only be about her conquering enemies, moving on to the next one, and repeating that process over and over again, until she just eventually wins. There's gotta be more to it. Some juicy, juicy drama to drive the narrative forward. Even though we don't have much to work with, we do know of one character besides Wonder Woman who will be in this game. Queen Hippolyta. I'd say that a bulk of the emotional journey for Wonder Woman will revolve around her relationship with her mother. She is coming back home after God knows how long, under the Queen's orders, to fight a war. However, it's Wonder Woman who is needed to reunite the Amazons, something that Hippolyta is incapable of doing herself, perhaps because she is somewhat to blame for the falling out between the different sects. As the story goes on and Wonder Woman is exposed to other perspectives on her mother, I theorize that she'll come to see her in a new light. If the description and teaser are to be believed, a large part of the story will be about Diana's rise to leadership amongst her people. It's likely the new allies she brings to her side would want to see her rule rather than her mother. Hell, it's likely that Hippolyta wants Diana to succeed her also. So, at the end of this game, I believe that Wonder Woman will be offered the position of Queen of the Amazons. Now, my knee-jerk reaction to that is she would reject the offer to continue being Wonder Woman, but that's my comics brain talking. If the video game is successful, having a sequel where you get to play as Queen Diana would immediately ramp things up to the next level and serve as a great hook. So maybe she will accept. Welp, that's really all I had to say. I'm just super excited for this game and I wanted to have some fun speculating before solid information begins to roll out. Sometimes it's just fun to hypothesize. Please let me know what your hopes and fears are for the Wonder Woman game. Thanks so much for watching and take care.